Let's move on to the next page that we'll have within our app, which will be the activity feed. So what is this activity feed going to consist of? Let's take a look at a final version. So our activity feed is going to have a number of notifications to provide to the current user about when a user interacts either with their account or with one of their posts. So we're going to have three types of notifications in our feed, three different feed item types. A liked post, so when a user, another user likes their post. A comment, so when a user replies to one of their posts. And a follow notification, when another user starts following them. So for our like and comment notifications, we're going to include a preview of the post that was interacted with. And for all of our notifications, we're going to include information about the user that performed the interaction. So their image, username, a timestamp for when that interaction took place, and a brief summary of what happened. So now that we have an idea about what these notifications are going to be, how they're going to appear in our feed, how are these going to be structured in our database? How are they going to be added to our collections? Well, first of all, we head back to Firestore. We're going to have a specific collection dedicated to our activity feed with the ID of feed. It's going to be very easy to query for all of a user's feed items. They're going to be attached to the user based on their user ID. So let's assume that this ID is a user's ID in our app. And so we'll be able to add on to the feed collection based on given user's ID onto a sub collection which has the name feed items. So all of their notifications are going to be within this feed items collection. And they're each going to include their own relevant bits of information. What's going to be most important is their type. They're going to come in three types, like, comment, and follow. So that gives you somewhat of an idea about how this is going to be structured and how we're going to be adding new documents to this feed items collection. So we'll just delete what we've created here. And we're going to start by adding notifications for likes, for likes, and for comments, since we've set up both likes and comments. We'll move on to follow and unfollow functionality in just a bit. So first we're going to head to our post.dart file, and specifically we want to go to the handle like post function, where we're actually updating the likes map for a given post. So let's head down to the else if conditional. And here where we're setting a user ID to true for a given likes map, we want to execute a function which we'll call add like to activity feed. So this function will do exactly what it says. We'll create this underneath. And first of all, we need to have an activity feed ref. So we'll need to create such a ref referencing the collection that we just saw, collection with the ID of feed within our home.dart file. So up at the top, we can just copy one of our ref variables and rename it to activity feed ref. And it'll reference the collection feed. So as we saw on this ref, we're going to add a document that's based on the owner ID, the owner of the post. Remember that we're in post.dart, so we're going to be able to get the owner ID here, and we want to send a notification to just them. So the collection that we saw was feed items, and this is going to be linked to a document based on the post ID for the post that's being updated. And since we're going to be updating the very same document referenced by the owner ID and just one post ID, this is going to be overwritten every time a like is made. So we're only going to give the user a notification for the most recent like that was made. They're not going to get a notification every single time a user likes one of their posts. However, we will set it up so that a user will receive notifications for every comment they receive on a post as well as every time another user follows them. Just something worth keeping in mind. And finally, we want to set data and pass a map to our created document with the following information. First of all, the type that we mentioned. And 
this will be a string. It'll either be the string like, comment, or follow. Then we're going to add some user data, the username who made this like, which we'll get from the current user dot username. Then their user ID from current user dot ID, a user profile image, which will be the current user's photo URL, the post ID set to the post ID, media URL for our preview on the right hand side of the notification and the timestamp for when this like took place. So when a like's being added, we're going to add a like to an activity feed, and we're going to do the opposite when a like is being taken away, when a user's unliking. So we're going to execute here, remove like from activity feed. We'll make this function as well. So as you might guess, this is just going to be the opposite of setting data, it's going to be deleting data from this same reference. So we'll copy the same path to the same document. And instead of just saying delete, we want to make sure that exists, that document actually exists before we attempt to delete it. So we'll make a get request at the end and then chain on a then. And we'll get our document and we'll check to see if the document exists. If it does, then we'll attempt to delete it with doc.reference.delete. So now let's test this out. We'll see the default behavior for what we've set up here. I'd recommend doing a hot restart. And now we'll take a look at one of our posts. And we'll open up Firestore. And when we like it and refresh, our database, we see our feed collection, we see it's linked to a user's ID, we can confirm that, we see our feed items collection and on it, we're referencing a given post ID, and we have all the information that we set on this document. And what will happen when we unlike it is all of this is going to go away. So this is the default behavior. However, we don't want to receive a notification in our activity feed if we're liking our own post. So in order to prevent that, in order to add a notification to the post owner's activity feed only if comment made by other user to avoid getting notification for our own like. We want to add a check where we'll compare the current user ID and if it's not equal to the owner ID we can store the result in a variable called is not post owner which will store a boolean value. So only if it is not the post owner who is liking the post do we want to create the notification? And we can provide the same conditional for remove like from activity feed. So this is just one option. Feel free to use the other approach if you don't mind it. And now if we hot restart again, and we'll remove the notification if we have it currently. So when we re-like the post, we shouldn't see the feed collection be created.